Welcome to Crimson Guitars, welcome to the beginnings of my new studio and uh, to another episode in that build. Storage. Wood storage. Timber. I have a love-hate relationship with wood. I love collecting it. I love acquiring it. I love dreaming about what I'm going to use it for. I really struggle with the storage. I've got or have had very little space in my home studio for this, but there's always another piece of wood and the projects are probably years off in the future. I'm sure you understand this. All of this work has been to increase my storage space and make it uh, better for the timber. Now throughout this extension, I've been doing it with guitar building and with timber storage in mind. Every single surface in this shed is fully insulated. Roofs, floors, ceilings, walls. I have got a heater that is on a thermostat and keeps the temperature at a, <laughs> except in the current weather, uh, an, an even number. And I have a dehumidifier going whenever I am not filming to pull out excess moisture to keep it at around about 50, 55 um, percent. <sighs> wood needs to be kept dry. That's that. And flat. Wood needs to be kept dry and flat. It wants to warp, it wants to move, it wants to say, hey, I used to be a gorgeous piece of wood, I used to be perfect for that, but because you just threw it in a corner, it now has a major twist and will not, it will not make that neck you were dreaming of or that workbench or whatever it happens to be. So uh, that's where the timber rack comes up. And uh, this is a Triton product. I am sponsored by them. I've been working with them. Well, I've been using them for far longer than I've been working with them, but uh, I'm a fan. And this is one of the best products. It is supremely simple. It is incredibly durable. There are six shelves, each shelf capable of taking 50 kilograms. That's 110 pounds. Use that with the addition of stickers and your timber will be perfect. Come on then, let's fix this issue. Oh look, there's wood here too. Mmm. Double mm. This, this could not be a more straightforward yet solid system. Now this is very, very simple. There you go. And as it's got the angle, when it has weight, it locks itself in like a, like a clamp. I've got this, which is going to have a bunch of uh, tops and guitar bodies, then slightly longer pieces and potentially bits of metal and stuff on here. Each one of these shelves is rated for 50 kilograms. Uh, I haven't put major giant bolts all the way through the wall. Thank you. 
dry, airflow, space, good racking, good moisture meter. You done? The last thing we want is to store our wood, is to dry our wood in a manner that is not conducive to building a guitar because it, after all, in the end, everything we're doing is about that end result.